Hi guys! Welcome to JoJo's Corner! <laughs> today, hey. today I'm super excited to show you guys all books. I'm going to show you all of them. <laughs> These are books that I've gotten recently in my mailbox. And I haven't done one of these in a while. I haven't done one this whole year. And it's already like February. What was I thinking? Okay. So let's get started. I'm going to show you some of these. Some of these I've already reviewed on the blog over at jojosudiscorner.wordpress.com. Be sure to hop over there. Check it out. See if you like it. If you want to, you can follow. If not, it's okay. We can still be friends. <laughs> so, um, as I said, some of these I've already reviewed. And some you can look for very soon. So first up is this gorgeous copy of Hawk by Ronnie Kendig. I love Ronnie. This is the Quiet Professionals <laughs> book too. This book is part of a series, but it can totally be it can totally be read and enjoyed as a standalone. And so, um, if you love military fiction, Ronnie to me is one of the best. And so, if you love edge of your seat action packed ri rides, a thrill ride, <laughs> definitely check out this author. She will not disappoint. Next up, I was super excited to win a copy of Wonder by Travis Thrasher. This is the second book in the Books of Marvella series. This is YA. And I love this series so far. I'm so excited to get this. I can't wait to check it out. The first book in the series was this book called Marvelous. And don't you just love these covers? They are so cool. Um, something cool, though, that I... I think I already showed you guys this, but I'm going to show you again. Anyway, right here... Jojo Sudis. Yeah, I had a little blurb put in this one. So, you guys, I had to get the second one. <laughs> yeah, but I wound up winning the second one. So, that's awesome. I love Travis Thrasher. This is a series that is super fun, super, super quirky, and like um, mysterious, and just, yeah, it. <sighs> It's just awesome, you guys. So be sure to check this one out. Next up, one of my favorite, all-time favorite authors. I love her books. I love mysteries and, like, crime stories and things like that. And so this is Terry Blackstock's Breaker's Reef. This is Cape Refuge series. And um, this book was actually written several years ago, but the publisher is revamping the covers. And so I couldn't wait to get it. Now I have to collect all the other covers because... They're just so gorgeous. I wish you could see, I wish you could see how, how, oh, it's so pretty. Um, and then I can show you even on the back here, it kind of shows some of the other ones, the different colors and everything. So yeah. Yeah. I was thrilled to get this. Um, it's a small town. It's a murder. It's, uh, involves a famous mystery writer. Um, yeah. So <laughs> right up my alley and I can't wait to share, share this one with you guys. Next up is a super cute contemporary romance. This is a new author to me. Um, I'm not sure if this is her debut novel or not, but um, but she's new to me. So this is Courtney Walsh. It's called Paper Hearts. It's so cute. You guys look how cute. It's adorable. It's so adorable. Um, and oh, the book trailer is so fun. I'm going to link that below so you guys can go and check it out and be able to, um, you know, get a little bit more background on this one. I love, this is just in time for Valentine's Day, the perfect little read. So, um, so check out that book trailer and, uh, share, let me, let me guys, 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 <laughs> share your thoughts, share your thoughts below this video. I would love to hear what you think of the book trailer. Next up is another one of my favorite authors, Nancy Mill. This book is called Deadly Echoes. Oh, you guys, it's so good. Um, this cover is like creepy. Look right here, this little small town. Oh, that that's creepy. Um, but this is like a uh, Amish mystery, but it's not, it's not like so Amish. It's like, if you don't like Amish, you won't like it. Like, I think, I think if you love mysteries, you'll love this. If you love suspense, you will love this. Um, it's about a girl named Sarah and, um, she has just discovered that her sister has been murdered and she has to, um, sort of figure out why. And, uh, it's really creepy because the murder is eerily similar to their parents' murder that happened many, many, many years ago. And so she and, uh, this, uh, Deputy Sheriff Paul Gleason have to, uh, unravel the mystery. Yeah. It's really, it's really, it's really creepy. It's awesome. The chapters are like, like every chapter, at the end of every chapter, I was just like, oh, I can't stop reading. And so, <laughs> so uh, this is a good, fun suspense. 
Next up is a nonfiction. This book is called Romancing Your Better Half by Rick Johnson, Keeping Intimacy Alive in Your Marriage. And guys, I love this book so much. Um, I typically tend to read books for women by women, but this was written by a guy, and so um, I was interested to check it out. It was super awesome. I love it. I would hi highly, highly recommend it. Uh, great if you're uh, married, if you're soon to be married, if you've been married for a while, if you're newlywed, you know, definitely check it out. If you have trouble getting your guy to read uh, books like this, uh, try this one because uh, the author is like super funny and but super serious in things to do with marriage. So check this one out. Next up I have another um, nonfiction. This is written by Annie Lobert and it's called Fallen. This is her testimony of getting out of the sex industry and just running into the arms of Jesus and how he's changed her life and I just cannot wait to check this out and review it. Uh, I'll be touring this one on my blog this month so be sure to check uh, be looking for that, yeah.